Today we celebrate the feast of St. Catherine Drexel. And Catherine Drexel has a, 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 some history here in the Diocese of Pittsburgh. She was a very wealthy woman, born to a very wealthy family in Philadelphia. The family was very involved in banking, and this is at the time of the Civil War. Um, and she had thought about a religious vocation, but, you know, didn't act on it until after her father had died. Uh, she had an audience with Pope, I think it was Leo XIII, and she brought to his attention the, the needs of Native Americans. And the Pope wisely challenged her and says, why don't you become a missionary yourself? And I think this is where the homily is going to go. So the challenge is, you know, you're aware of the needs of others. And she brings it to the Pope in a private audience. And the Pope, in turn, offers her the challenge. What are you going to do about that? Why don't you become that missionary? Well, indeed she did. And she used her wealth to, to um, first of all, to found institutions to serve Native Americans and African Americans. And I belong to the Congregation of the Holy Spirit. And we work very, very well and closely together in many different mission areas here in the United States, in Louisiana, in Oklahoma, and other places. And I mean, she used her wealth in many, many ways to advance the needs of those who were poor. But she heard this challenge in a very remarkable way. She was formed by the Sisters of Mercy. She did her novitiate here in Pittsburgh, but made her vows as the foundress of the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. Saints at times give us that witness that is right here before our nose. What are you going to do about it? The gospel, Jesus says to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. We have this challenge to make sure that our faith and our actions are in conformity. And the saints give us that challenge. Are we, in fact, the disciples that Jesus has called us to be in the sacrament of baptism? Do our actions correspond with the faith that we profess? This time of Lent is that opportunity to take a long, loving look at our lives. If we do not measure up, if our faith and our actions are not in conformity with the faith that we profess, this is the time to make that change. The grace is offered to us in abundance to become that person that the gospel commands us to be. St. Catherine Drexel shows us what a challenge can be, how it can be welcomed, and how it can transform lives. May it do so also with us.